Artyom, we are in position orders. What? Oh! Fucking bitch! Oh! oh. oh. and I have to stick around here. Fuck this, I said. You piece of fucking shit! I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip you a new one for my brother! There! Take this, you fucking! <laughs>
I wish we could just get back home now and have a good drink. Go the dust. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> Why the fuck do I get to stick around here? As if anyone needs me to. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Should I have a smoke now? No, kind of spooky. Yeah. Hey. Artyom, I see you. Come up here on the crane. I 
in here. You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, they have more guards than we anticipated. It seems risky, but, but Press says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four dogboats, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to pick the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... This seems to be the best spot for point entry. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You may so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom. Charge. You call the shots. Okay, well, it's high time we started. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Crest take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. On your right. Oh, 
Here's the way you can all do fun assignments. This luck thing sure Shoot! I can pay the, the goods. Take them. You can take the goods. Stay calm. It's us. <laughs> Great job, I told. A shame we couldn't do it quietly. So, you guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not, we have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we are gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, way anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyom, it's Duke. We're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine. Блять, closer to God at the top, you see? That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Catch the line! Ready. Hey, sailor! What did you 
So, Artum, shall we move? Whoever gets there first wins. Break a leg. Could ever see it from here. Back. Back? But he and Kirill vowed to eradicate all the demons. You don't just come back after that. Well, ask anyone. He got captured by heathens, but a heretic, one of the new ones free. Old Simon just got caught in feet. That's all. All the stories people tell about the gods. No. Ah! Ah, you dirty dog! Yeah, in the story.
that shock. He was over there. Prepare for death's embrace, you heathen. Why should I even fear one dirty heretic? Idle him with my eyes shut. Stand before our 
death shall scatter like dust in the wind. His will be done. His will be done. For he will devour them, body and soul. For one can cleanse himself of body powder, but there is this to be put an eternal brand upon his skin. We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. Regretfully, Duke was not destined to see them. Was his death a fault of mine? Was everything that happened on the bridge? It could be. It's a cruel world that we live in, and it's not our responsibility to fix it. We only wanted to pass through, and it was not my fault they screamed for blood. Their zealousness reminded me of the Metro, where people are indoctrinated into a lie. That the world is dead and there's nowhere to go. 
Anyone who questions it gets fed a different lie, that the war is still going on. Here it's, electricity is a sin. Same difference, really. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wait. I'm so sorry about Duke. He was just a boy. Really? He kept asking me for advice on how to become more attractive to a girl he knew. What to say to her. I couldn't wait to come back to her, proudly wearing scars and medals. Stay for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climb those ruins back in Moscow, with your radio, in our life on the surface at all? Home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Oh, well, you know. There's something great in simply going anywhere like this, together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our home trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a... We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. Alyosha keeps telling everyone Duke could have jumped off the bridge in time. The others are also well, but I... I just unraveled. Of course, I had friends die before. He wasn't looking for death, Duke. He did volunteer for the most dangerous missions. T Dad, you. Especially you. And he didn't die for nothing, did he? He wanted us to get there, to Yamantau. He wanted us to tell them about Moscow. How we survived there and still haven't given up. How we've been hiding for so long. Leaving already? Well, go get them, tiger.
road for. I've been listening to the radio too. And there's a single transmission occupying force. So, you think I should just let it all out? I don't think that would make me feel better. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. Thinking. Come, we buried our friends at home. And avenged them at home. That home and life there sucked. We were kept there with chains. No, even worse, with lies. And now we are looking for a new home. Dad says all those are coded transmissions, that they all have hidden meaning, but... Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here... This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Though, where... Remember? Neither Katya nor Crest have ever met them. Though, we seem to be doing just fine even without them. It's like Middle Ages. That Salantius is treating people like slaves, getting them killed. I can't believe they had it worse without his lies, non sacrifices. Been living down there for so many years, fighting each other. And nobody even thought you could live outside. Here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Nastya's father. Does Nastya know? He is. I he a secret. To Told her he left for the market. Hey, Artyom, the look, colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Stop with this mood. It is Duke we are talking about. Around three days past. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. And what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is with each. Yes, there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. In Moscow, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits. But I'll have to, and soon. And it's high fixed up. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? Duke's carrier didn't hold the back plate anymore. He just kept joking about it. Well, I'll be working here from now on. Well, that's it. I bragged enough. Don't waste any more of your time. The colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break here, but now we do experience. Oh, a smoke break. That's good. Ready. Sam said everything. Each two. Listen. 
I had a talk with the Ark. All thanks to Doug working on. Now you doubt that my hands are still shaking. It's incredible. By the way, Arthur, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantal complex. Katia and Chris tell me that the line there is in decent condition. The targets there. So we can hope for smooth sailing from here. Right to the very destination. It's not that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. It took us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where will Hey! It's all about the results! Ah, yes. This... We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people are less interested. They are asking questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. Not for weeks or months, 
suffer for 20 years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama learned to live here now. I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Don't say that. Combat Colonel, it's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on. Passengers, get inside and bottle up tight. Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for all of you and me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us. Or else I'll never hear the end of it. A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. Safe zone and sit tight there. We do that right now. Step on. Sorry, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Nobody home. How about you? Huh? Bye. Look. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. <sighs> and where are your people, Colonel? <sighs> it's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Don't you 
feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were wrong. For not giving up. Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. <coughs> so far? I... I demand a, a minister of defense now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The minister and the chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? Fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. We are the government, you people. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down. We'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, must. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough <laughs> Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass and... Your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! <laughs> so, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people and the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served, do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here, I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. But I'll get you little burn this tongue. Now we'll be full again. Good. Artyom. Here. Sir, I think that's Thank enough. you, son. What is this not? We have to be 
It's huge. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room. And this you come with me to the command. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay.
did you shoot there? What the fuck? But there was meat. Meat, you see?
Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're anyone! Just like the others! So just free! Yes, yes! Don't, Let just, him just, go. don't kill me! Now. Uh, remember what I told you! There was an explosion! Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you alright, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the current. Dad, it's me. Anna, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Situation though. Not then I caught on the Volga. See us with his damned fanatics. <sighs> but no, it appears there was still space for growth. We could have got killed there. We almost got unbelievable. To think he used. We'll see what how. After all. Who 
could have known. You know these these creatures here have kept eating people for years. I got the minister was going to see me. Seat me behind the place. I even saluted those ghouls. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. These. All right, but what do we do I'll now? Be damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense side HQs all long gone. Things that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> to drive to some corner. We have to make. Did you get everything you could get? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything. Come on, come on. Okay, all done. I don't think we should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time of what is allotted to me with that guy attached to him. The belt so I didn't have to carry it back. Think I believed those pricks from Hansa? I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ, that we were under occupation, that we were still in war, that there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? The lights. You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center. Caspian. I've done. Oh. <coughs> we gain 
access to the data by the satellites. We won't have to travel around radiation level maps. Even satellites could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Sound the horn, then. <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal. Had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. with this place nothing but sand and heat I feel like shit here Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. Uh, the others are only still in fighting shape. Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find that damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler D. All of us. That too. Ana, Demir. One more task. Look for water and fuel. Well do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. 
And they do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight, and we, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora would not be needing any help. How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high-temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. Why didn't you say so before? Because you never asked. Is the injection system in working order? I would need to check it. Well, take Crest and run the checks. Oh yeah, we'll take care of your chick chuck, no problem. But uh, that ain't giving us no diesel. Hmm. Judging how the locals drive around, it will be much easier to get our hands on diesel than coal around here. But what about the water? Can't run without it, but our tanks are dry. Let's handle problems in the order of their appearance. All right, let's go check those fuel sprinklers now. I bet they all need cleaning or something. Let's go. Now, where is that bunker, I wonder? Clear. Artyom, abandoned village, building with an antenna. Check who went there. We'll be waiting for an update from you. This one is fine, like it was clean yesterday. That's great. Move on to the next one. Find the premises. Could use some cleaning. Damn, the sun is having a ball today. Set up the. You get the engine. I'll clean the place up, then we'll bring step on. It's cooler than in the train. Your word is my lead. Mints now. Commence. Okay. Are you going out? Thing I finished just now. Huh. Hollowed out a couple of tea hearts and filled them with the explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Well, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly. With all the sand around.
Do you see that building with the antenna? The car went... Be careful. We don't know what to expect from the local.